Okay, I'm creating this video right now because I've been a core Kronos owner for at least five years now, and um, this is by far one of the most difficult boards to learn. Um, it is simultaneously the most powerful keyboard workstation I have ever used, but it's just difficult. It's it's not set up in a very intuitive way, and a lot of the functions that you may need ready accessibility to are hidden deep within the menus and tabs as you can see here there's just dozens of tabs and menus for every page you want to go to but the reason why i'm making this particular video is because i found just through sheer determination and deep diving i found something that will dramatically increase your workflow if this is the instrument that you're using i'm coming from uh rolling phantom as you can see that's uh that's one of my uh favorite keyboards i'll never get rid of it the workflow on that was tremendously simple compared to the core chronos um by the way invest in a in a brush just a regular old paint brush from the dollar store uh, come in handy for keeping your equipment clean and dusting it off. But anyway, um, so when you're in sequence mode and let's say you want to go to do a track and you select this track, for instance, and then you call up your sound and you pick your sound and you hit OK and then you want to record blah, 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 blah. Then you want to go to the next track to record. What you would have to do is go to the next track, pick your sound, blah, blah, blah. You get your sound, hit OK. Now, you would think that selecting that track would mean that, OK, I selected that track. So when I get ready to hit record again, you see record, that track's going to record. But as you can see, it's not recording even though you can see it's selected in the black here, but this track over here is recording or is armed to record. And I finally found a way to fix that. If you go, when you're in sequence mode and you go to control surface, if you hit this link KBD, Record track to control surface. If you check this box now on your karma module over here where you select your tracks, whatever track you select over here will be armed to record. So as well. So if you select this track and you hit right record, you can see. Track one is selected. Now you do your recording, blah, 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 blah. You go to the next bank. You pick your next sound, whatever. Instead of having to go up here to manually change your track to the MIDI track that you wish to record to, all you have to do is just hit the next track select button. Boom automatically takes you to the next track automatically arms that track to record and as you can see as I'm changing the buttons over here the record track is moving along with it I don't know about you guys, but I know that that's going to help me out tremendously because it's too much stuff to do in an unintuitive fashion. You have to select a track that you want to change the sound to. Then you got to select the MIDI track. Then you got to do the record. It's just too much. So any shortcuts that you can find um, that would enable you to have quicker workflow, I'm all for that. So once again, all you got to do is when you're in sequence mode, you go to the control surface, make sure this link KBD record track to control surface is hit. So now whenever you select something over here, that's automatically going to 
link your record track to your selected track. So now not only when you select a track to change parameters over here with your real time knobs, if you select a track, you can change parameters and you'll also know that that track is also going to be the one armed to record when you get ready to start making music again. So hopefully this helps some people out. Um, like I said, it's been a, a grueling several years with this board, but I'm, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying to, to master it until I get it right. Y'all take it easy. Peace.